Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 1, Introduction, Segment 2, Subject of Transport Phenomena. With me again, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung. The subject of transport phenomena includes three closely related topics. First is fluid dynamics, second is heat transfer, and third is mass transfer. Fluid dynamic involves the transport of momentum, whereas heat transfer deals with the transport of energy and mass transfer is concerned with the transport of mass of various chemical species. These three transport phenomena are studied together as a course because first, they frequently occur simultaneously in industrial, biological, agricultural and meteorological problems. Second, the basic equations that describe the three transport phenomena are closely related. The similarity of the equations under simple conditions is the basis for solving problems by analogy. Third, the mathematical tools needed for describing these phenomena are very similar. It is very important to have a good background in mathematics to study transport phenomena. Last but not least, the molecular mechanisms underlying the various transport phenomena are very closely related. All materials are made of molecules, and the same molecular motions and interactions are responsible for viscosity, thermal conductivity, and diffusion. Hence, the main aim of this course is to give a balanced overview of the field of transport phenomena, present the fundamental equations of the subject, and illustrate how to use them to solve problems. This figure shows a schematic diagram of a continuous dead tank reactor. We can describe the transport of mass, momentum and energy at three different levels. At the macroscopic level, a set of equations called macroscopic balances which describe how the mass, momentum and energy in the system change because of the introduction and removal of these entities via the entering and leaving streams and because of various other inputs to the system from the surroundings. No attempt is made to understand all the details of the system. In studying an engineering or biological system, it is a good idea to start with this macroscopic description in order to make a global assessment of the problem. In some instances, it is only this overview that is needed. At the microscopic level, we examined what is happening to the fluid mixture in small region within the equipment. Set of equations called the equations of change, which describe how the mass, momentum and energy change within this small region. The aim here is to get information about velocity, temperature, pressure, and concentration profiles within the system. This more detailed information may be required for the understanding of some processes. At the molecular level, we would like to gain understanding about the mechanisms of mass, momentum, and energy transport in terms of molecular structure and intermolecular forces. For the next segment, we will discuss about role and definition of transport processes. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.